What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend Peeps. Right guys, in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you, whew, what I'm gonna do is show you a Canada Goose Chili Whack versus a Canada Goose Windham jacket. Both of these are 2020 jackets, so these are both new release jackets, and both of these are exclusive colorways as well. So, you know, I got them in, I thought, let me do a quick review for you guys, because I don't think I've actually done a Chilliwack versus a Windham Parker jacket review. I know lots of people love the Windham jacket, so I remember previous years before that, everyone was banging on about the Chilliwack, but now it seems to be the Windham is the choice for a lot of people, a lot of guys out there who are looking for Canada Goose jackets. So I thought, you know what, why not get both of the jackets, do a quick review so I can show you guys exactly what both of these are saying, give you my thoughts, my opinions. Yeah, basically let you know which one I think is the best out of both of them, okay? Now, literally, if you're looking for Canada Goose jackets, remember you can still go onto our website. We've got tons of deals on there for um, Canada Goose. Okay, well, maybe not tons, because it's hard to get Canada Goose on discount, but what we've managed to do is find quite a few deals online, all from official stockists for Canada Goose, and we've let our followers know about them, okay? But we're always putting deals on. I think there is one now for a Sangford jacket as well, which stands for $5.99, so make sure you check out the website if you want to find cool deals like that, okay? All authentic, all official stockists, no grey market, no black market, yellow market, no Boston market, no Chatham market over in, 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 in Manchester. None of that stuff, all 100% official, okay? Let's crack on with it. Two seconds. Right, so <clears throat> this is the Canada Goose Windham jacket in a 2020 kind of cream colourway. Now, I did kind of show a preview of this in one of the last videos that I've done. And it's an amazing jacket. It's just that the colour, although I love this colour, I think it's quite, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to keep clean. And I know what my luck is like. I wear something white like this and the, the moment I put it on, there's going to be a mark on it. So I'm always careful with white stuff like this. But anyhow, yeah. Right, that's it. This is the Canada Goose Windham jacket, guys. And this is a size large for reference, okay? Right. And this is, this is the Chili Whack Bomber. Um, this is a 2020 jacket, brand new. So I'm gonna be doing a review on this one as well and letting you know which ones I think are favorite out of the two, okay? Right, so I wanna start with the Chili Whack Bomber jacket because the Chili Whack for me is one of my favorite jackets. I absolutely love the Chili Whack. I think it's an amazing jacket. This one happens to be, this one happens to be the PBI, which is the Polar Bear International jacket. Now the PBI is a charity that does a lot of research into the preservation of polar bears. Every PBI jacket, a percentage of every Canada Goose PBI jacket goes directly to the PBI organization and they put that into a lot of research and stuff like that for polar bears and their preservation throughout the world. This one is um, 25 pounds more than the original Chili Whack. Now, how you know it's a PBI? How you know this is a PBI is because you've got a special badge on the side here, which is this kind of blue logo, which is really cool. And then you've got the, no the normal Canada Goose badge there on the side. Now, I actually love this color. This is like a brilliant white color. I think the color is amazing. I think the only problem with this color is you've got to be careful with white because obviously you're going to go out and you, you get a stain on this and you're going to be so upset, man, because I know I personally would. I will not be keeping this one. I will be selling this one. I was going to keep it, but I just know what I'm like with white. So I'm going to give it a miss, I think, on this one. Well, some of the benefits of the Chili Whack, obviously it's a bomber style, so it does come up a little bit high. There's not so many Canada Goose jackets that come up so high like this on the waist. Now, normally with, the, with um, um, Canada Goose jackets, they do tend to come just past the waist a little bit, and then you've got the more full parkers that just go right above the knees, okay? The benefit of the Chili Whack is because it just comes up to your waist, you've got a lot more mobility in this jacket. One of the things that I noted, for example, where you're wearing some of the longer jackets is when you sit down, you can sit down and it kind of stretches the jacket a little bit. So that might be a concern to some people. So that usually happens when you zip the jacket up on the long Parker jackets. Now what you might notice is on the Emery jacket, for example, you've got zips on the lower side of the jacket here. So if you unzip that, you notice when you sit down, like in the car or on the bus or whatever, then it kind of opens up the jacket a little bit so you can sit down and it just gives you a little bit more room. Now for me, this is an extremely warm jacket. It's meant to deal with temperatures of around minus 10 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. This does come with removable fur. So there is a zip here, so I can take the fur off if I don't want it. It's just simple, just unzip it, take it off, and you're all good to go. Another thing this jacket features is a tunnel hood. So what I mean by tunnel hood is that the, the hood fully extends out and goes all the way out like this. You've also got a wire inside here, so I can like manipulate 
I can manipulate the front of the hood and kind of twist it out any kind of way I want like that and it's just holes. That's also a really nice feature as well. Cotton trim cuffs here, which are elasticated, and we also have that on the hem here as well. 94% of people that, that have went ahead and left the review on the Canada Goose website said that this is true to size for them. So I think you're kind of okay to go true to size with the Canada Goose. This is actually a size large, and for me, it fits quite fine. The thing with Canada Goose is that the jackets are just a tiny bit oversized, but that is part of the style, and it's also part of the effectiveness, effectiveness of the jacket as well, to give you that kind of breathability if you're if you're if you kind of want more of a more fitted fitted fit then you can size down and go for a size m the only thing that you might find is it might be a little bit tiny bit high on the waist you might be a little bit tiny um, a little bit high on the cuff as well so those are two things that you might want to consider i would say try to go um true true to size i think you should be okay okay So yeah, this jacket retails for 850. Unfortunately, the prices of the Canada Goose jackets, they raise, they rise every year. I'm pretty sure they were 795 last year. So now it's gone to 850. The PBI version, which is available in blue and also available in this limited white is 875 pounds. I think it's quite expensive. I think when you start entering kind of like the 800 pound, 850 pound, well, to be honest with you, I think when you start entering the kind of like 500, 600 plus, you're getting into what I would say is really, really expensive territory now for a jacket. You know, I can understand maybe 500, 600, but 850 is a lot of money. So everything after that, you're kind of just paying for the Canada Goose brand, if I'm to be honest with you. I think if you've got the money, and I think if you want to make a kind of invest yourself in a jacket and you're looking to keep it for a long while, then 850, uh, I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I mean, some of the benefits are you still get a warranty with the jacket as well. So that means if there's any faults within the jacket, that is a lifetime warranty. You do not have to buy it directly from Canada Goose. You can also go to an official stockist and no matter where you buy that from, you will still get the guarantee with the jacket. That's a really good thing. A lot of brands do not offer that. So even for that alone, within the price, I think that is actually a really good offer and investment. If you look after them well, if you follow the washing instructions, and also if you store them in like a suit bag, if you don't have a suit bag, get yourself a suit bag. So in the summertime, just store it in a nice roomy wardrobe. And I would say take the fur off and then maybe just put that in a nice bag and keep that all together. You will hold the value of this jacket really, really well. At 875, for maybe three years on this jacket, for example, if it's in a good condition, I could come back in three years and maybe sell this jacket for like, what, 650? You know, if I'm kind of pushing high, 650, 600, you know, two, three years. I think that's a good investment in that sense, then yes, that's really good. But overall, I do think there's other jackets on the market on the market as well. So you've got like North Face, for example, um, Pyrenex do some really cool jackets as well. Um, so I think, you know, those are other alternatives that I think are worth um, looking at. Also, um, Parajump is another good one. It is water resistant, although it's not highly water resistant. So a lot of water on this jacket, it will eventually seep into the materials. Let's remember that Canada Goose is built for um, warmth. It's not necessarily built for it's built for arctic conditions and when you get arctic conditions it doesn't really rain crazy like that so it's not meant to be overly water resistant anyway you do actually have a storm flap at the front of the jacket so that acts as a storm flap so even here the wind can still get inside the jacket you can just put that like that and then it, the wind will no longer enter your jacket extra padded arms here and it does have down insulation even wearing it like now it feels really really warm so remember guys there's lots of fakes out there so be careful buying online if you want to if you want a place where you can find out if your Canada Goose is fake or real jump onto our Facebook group we've got a community on there with 10,000 members they're all helping people out all giving each other legit checks and all this type of stuff so it could be worth you jumping on there if you want to get a legit check if you're looking at marketplaces which could also be a cheaper option for you to go ahead and get yourself like some Canada Goose or something like that okay right so this is the Canada Goose Winham now the color looks similar but it's actually more of a cream Right, so although this already feels like a warm jacket, it does not have the same presence for me as the Chili Wrap. The Chili Wrap really kind of concentrates a lot on that upper body warmth. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still a warm jacket, but what you'll find with the Windham and the other Parkers is fall just very slightly below your waist. A lot of people might say that they just get a little bit more extra warmth when it just goes a little bit just below the waist, so that's why some people might like the um, Windham. I've noticed that some people don't seem to like bomber jackets that rise up too much. That's another reason why someone might want to go for the Windham as well, okay? Now, the Windham is actually more expensive than the Chilliwack. It's 895, which is 900 pounds. 
Ooh, that's a lot of money. We'll come into the price in a minute. Both of the jackets do come with fleece pockets. It's got a bit of a fleece in the pocket right here. So when you put your hands in the pocket and you rummage them around, if they're feeling a bit cold or a little bit wet, put them in there, rummage them around, it will warm them back up and it should get rid of a little bit of the water. This does come with fur on the hood as well. And on this one, you do get the wire and you get a shorter tunnel hood on this one. So you still do get the tunnel hood feature, but it's not as long as the chili whack. You've also still got removable fur, so if you want to take the fur off, you can take that off. But I know a lot of people actually with the wind, wind hand, they do prefer the fur as well. Both of the jackets come with big chunky Vizlon YKK zippers. Storm flat to the front there as well, and you've got some nice button studs there to press that all down, okay? This colour, you know, be careful. Obviously, you guys know already, cream, whites, be careful. Obviously, the chili whack comes in lots of really cool colours, and this season they've actually released lots of new colours that we haven't seen before like a grey and some different camos and stuff like that so that's really nice <laughs> the difference with this one as well is it also comes with a chin guard here I've got this almost like a fleece type fabric if I do that all the way to the top that kind of protects your mouth and a little bit of your nose and that kind of keeps you warm as well so it can be worn like that but that is for like extremely cold temperatures I would say it's probably not for like every day but you can do if you really want to I guess it's meant to do with temperatures of about 10 to 20 degrees Celsius so this is going to keep you very very warm I just feel like the Canada Goose is a little bit more thicker than this one and um, this one is a size large and you, as you can see this one probably fits me a little bit more snug so if you want something that's not going to be so big and bulky like the Chili Whack you want something that's going to be a little bit more slim lined and the wind hand is also another good option as well um, again you can go for size large I'm a size large and this is fitting me just fine okay got the Canada Goose badge right there and also on this one you got all the labels and all the all the information should be inside the jacket first label there it's got a style it says style and a number if you look at that number you can always google that number with, with Canada Goose alongside on the Canada Goose website it should come up with the name of the jacket okay so that's a good way to check if your jacket is fake or real actually a lot of the counterfeits do not put the style code of the jacket inside the labels that's one good tip to know okay it's, it's the most popular um, jacket at the moment that I'm finding I get tons of queries for the Windham lots of people ask me for that. The question that people are going to ask me is which one do I think is better? Uh, personally, if it's me, I, I would go for the Chili Whack. I'm a big fan of the Chili Whack. I love the bulkiness. I love the fact that it's a bummer. I love the fact that it kind of goes up a little bit and then you've got the big chunky hood. I, I love everything about it. The Windham is good. It's not my favourite. It's definitely not one of my favourite Canada Gooses. Not for any particular reason. It's just the style. I prefer like the Macmillan. I prefer the Maitland, the Chili Whack, the the um, Emery is also one of my favourites and the Bromley, those are kind of my favourites but I know that the, the um, Windham is definitely a hot favourite for people. It really depends on what you want. If you want something that's a little bit longer, a bit more of a Parker style, comes down a little bit, you want something that's going to be a little bit more fitted, a little bit more slim line, um, then go for the Windham. If you want something which is a bomber, you've got a bit more mobility, which this jacket still gives you as well, but if you want that kind of style of the Chili Whack, then go for the Chili Whack. In terms of warmth, for me, I just feel like the Chili Whack is a little bit warmer, but in saying that, they're, they're both probably just equally as warm, at least that's what it says on the Canada Goose website anyway, okay? Woo! So guys, that's it. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found that informative. Again, if you want to see like hot deals on Canada Goose, make sure you jump onto our website. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments box below and I'll try and answer as many of you guys as I can. Don't forget to smack that like key. Don't forget to subscribe, share. You know how it is, all the good stuff. I'm out of here. Peace.